this paper bead bracelet quickly and easily by using some new supplies from Paper Tray Ink. Hi, this is Nicole Hetty, and today I'm going to show you how to use um, our new Beautiful Beads die along with um, these Beautiful Beads paper pads. Um, for Stamp Affair specifically, we've released these early. They were available um, in the tote bag collections that we sold early. Um, these items will be for sale to the public in September, so you can look forward to those if you haven't um, picked them up yet. But I just wanted to show you today how to use these products to make a really cool beaded bracelet out of paper. Um, to begin with, we have this die, and what it does is it cuts several long, thin triangles that can be used to um, roll a paper bead. This die makes it so easy because all you have to do is one pass with this die, and you can cut several dozen triangles, all you need to make several bracelets. So um, it just makes it very easy and fun instead of cutting them by hand. And you, everything is um, perfectly measured and all ready to go. Now, in coordinating with that die, we've created a special paper pad that's four by six inches. If you'll notice, um, this pad um, coordinates well with the size of the die so you don't have very much paper waste. But each pad has several different patterns in a very small scale that's um, perfect for making these beads. Now, um, what another cool aspect of this is that this paper is a special lightweight paper so that it rolls easily without creasing, which you can sometimes get with thicker regular pattern paper. Um, I would almost compare this to an origami weight paper, which is... Um, kind of cool and just makes the project overall a lot easier. So um, this the paper pads come in two different color collections. These were designed by Heather Nichols um, and I did the cover design. She did a wonderful job picking the patterns and um, the colors and she did a really great job on these. Um, you can get a blue and green mix which kind of has aqua mist and Hawaiian shores and um, a little bit of Simply Chartreuse and Ripe Avocado in the mix. And then there's the Pink and Orange mix, which has some Melon Berry and Raspberry Fizz, Hibiscus Burst, and, and some other fun colors. I chose to work with the Blue and Green mix just because blues and greens are my favorite colors. And what I did is I picked, ended up picking out um, four patterns to use today out of the pad. And you need um, about five paper beads, depending on how you um, how you use the beads and mix them with other small regular beads. Um, my bracelets I've been creating have used about five paper beads per bracelet. Um, but I wanted to show you here. I've ran ran the papers through my die cut machine all at once, the four sheets that I selected. And since this is so thin, it will cut through all of them very easily. So I'm just going to um, take out these triangles. And as you can see, I have way more than I need since I'm only going to be making five beads for, more, for my bracelet today. But um, this also shows how if you wanted to mass produce these for gifts, um, you could literally just do one pass in your die cut machine with several sheets and you'd have plenty of triangles to work with. Here I've um, separated all the paper triangles and I picked the five that I want to use for my project. And what I have here, this is a wooden um, skewer traditionally sold to use. You can get a big package of them um, for making shish kebabs, but really you can use just about um, anything and you can actually mix things up. Um, the diameter of whatever you choose to wrap these around is the diameter of the hole that's going to be in the center of your bead. So you could experiment and make the hole smaller or larger depending on what you wanted to roll the bead around. But um, this is the main tool that you need and it's um, inexpensive and easy to come by. I have a regular old just school grade glue stick here and I'm applying glue to the back side 
of one of these triangles, making sure to get some on the point there. And then I'm taking the shish kebab skewer and I'm getting the end started here and then I'm just rolling it up. And you want to try to make sure that you're, you kind of proceed straight with the center in the center. But really, to be honest, it's not, it doesn't need to be perfect. It can be a little bit flexible. And the glue stick stays wet for a bit, so you have a little bit of flexibility as far as um, what you're doing as well. So there's my first paper bead, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill up this skewer with my beads here. So I'm going to move on to another one. And I don't know if you noticed, but I kind of skip the first, I don't know, 16th inch, 8th eight, inch of the triangle on the wide end because that's what gets put right against the skewer. And that way it eliminates it sticking later. So just grab this end. And roll it up. And right there I did not get enough glue on my there, so I'm gonna put some more on. And if you get a little bit of glue from the glue stick on the outside of the bead, that's okay. It'll come off. All right. I'm gonna do my last few beads here, and then I'm gonna show you how we finish these up. So here I've got my five rolled paper beads on the skewer, and. What you want to do now is you want to use Mod Podge or clear fingernail polish to seal the beads so that if they get moisture on them they won't completely disintegrate. I'm using clear nail polish just because that's what I had on hand. And all I'm going to do is just brush it on and try not to get any from the bead onto the wooden skewer so you don't take a chance on it's sticking when it dries. Same thing with the Mod Podge. Um, try not to get too much dripping off of the bead to avoid sticking. Just going to kind of dab this on all of them, brush it on. And this actually kind of helps to bring out the color on the beads too. It makes them a bit more vibrant. And I'm just going to add a little bit to these last two. And the good thing is, is that it does not take these very long to dry. They'll be dry in about 10 to 15 minutes and be ready to use. So there I've got all of mine coated and they're nice and shiny and glossy. And what you can do, since these are all on a skewer together, um, you can take two of just about anything you have laying around and lay the skewer across the top of them and all the beads can air dry perfectly without touching anything. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and take them off of the skewer now. And with that coating, they're almost like little glass beads. They've got, they're pretty solid and um, have a lot of strength to them. So I'm going to get together my supplies to actually put together my bracelet. Now, from here forward, it's pretty flexible with what you can do to create your bracelet. But I just wanted to show you how I am um, going to do mine today. Um, I have my paper beads right here, and then I have um, a toggle clasp right here, both ends of it, two crimp beads, 
and I also have a couple silver decorative beads, some seed beads, and some smaller round wooden beads. I'm now going to get a length of beading wire. You want to make it a little long so that you have plenty to work with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with um, one end of the toggle first and I'm going to put a seed bead on as well as my crimping bead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the crimping bead on first followed by the little seed bead and then I'm going to put the toggle on here and then I'm going to go around the toggle edge go back down through the seed bead and the crimp bead. Pull the end. This. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some pliers and I'm going to clamp down the crimp bead and flatten it. So what I have is the flattened crimp bead, the seed bead, and the toggle, and I've got the extra end of my wire sticking out there. So now I'm ready to start putting some beads on here. Now, you may want to experiment a little bit with um, how you're going to um, arrange everything on your bracelet. I think I've worked out a pretty good design. And... What I'm going to do is the first few beads, I'm going to make sure that both the end of the bead wire and that remainder of the bead wire, both strands, go through the beads so that um, that bead wire will be securely in there. So I'm going to put a seed, a seed bead, another seed bead, And then I'm going to put a metal decorative bead and a few more C beads here. Let's see. I think I'm going to put three. Once again, I'm going to go back down here and make sure that the strand go both strands go through all those beads so I'll be hiding my extra length of wire there. Now I'm going to put on one of my wooden beads. Whoops. And then I'm going to add a paper bead, like so. So I've established my pattern now. Do wooden bead. Three seed beads, a metal bead, and three more seed beads. One, two, three. Okay, there we go. So then another wooden bead, paper bead. Oops. and a wooden bead. So I'm going to continue in this process um, until I fill my whole bracelet. Okay, now I've finished beading my bracelet to um, the length that I wanted. And 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to add on, I'm going to pretty much do everything backwards from when I did the toggle at the other end. I'm putting on the crimp bead followed by a seed bead, putting the end of the toggle on here, and I'm going around the toggle and down through several of the beads. I'm going to pull on the end like that till it's nice and tight. See how I've got the end out here? Pulling it through those beads nice and tight to hold the toggle in place. Then when I, while I'm holding that wire in one hand, I'm going to go over here with the pliers and flatten that crimp bead down. And what that will do is it will keep everything nice and tight. I'm going to go ahead and stick this wire end through a few more beads. Back through. This helps to make the bracelet nice and sturdy. And once you've got it pulled through a few more beads, you can go ahead and just nip the end and it will kind of disappear in there. So here is the completed bracelet. I hope you had fun with this little tutorial and I look forward to seeing your take on this. Mm -hmm.